So, I'd like to talk to you about this, which is a Power Hero VTR 2000 1500 watt step down voltage converter. Now, a step down voltage converter allows you to power uh, electrical items from countries like the US, Canada, and in indeed Japan as well. Um, in the UK or other European country, other 220 volt country. On the back of the converter, which is what you're looking at now, you can see there are two 3-pin US style sockets. In the US and uh, some other countries they have two sorts of plug, they have 3-pin plugs and 2-pin plugs. This can take either of them and you may notice that um, if you look at the 2-pin part of it there, one of the holes is slightly bigger than the other. That means it can also take polarised plugs, which is what most of the two-pin plugs tend to be. There's the circuit breaker here, so if you have a problem, it will pop out, uh, let the thing cool down, press the circuit breaker and it will start up again. That's for if you overload it. At the bottom here, there's an IEC socket. That's the same kind of socket that you get on the back of a computer. The reason we put those on instead of a, a normal plug is so that we can sell it into other countries. For instance, I'm in the UK. If um, you bought it from us and you were in the UK, you would receive it with this kind of plug. This is a UK plug. And you can see there's a, an IEC connection on there. All that happens is that you uh, plug that into the back of the converter and then plug that into the mains. Simple. If, however, you were in, I don't know, the Netherlands, uh, Spain, Germany, you would get this kind of plug. It has the same kind of IC, IEC connection on the back. On the front of the converter, let's turn it down. You see there's an on-off switch and a dial which just tells you what the voltage is. Uh, this only goes one way, it's only a step down converter, it's unlike some of the others that we sell which go up as well as, well as down, so you can only use it that way around. So if you're looking at the dial, there are, there's two dials on it, the one that you need to consider is the green one, the one at the top, and that will tell you what the output is. So, to use it, all you do, connect this, switch on, and you can see there that the dial is registering. It makes a very, very quiet hum noise as well. The rating for this one, 2000 VA. We've tested this and um, we think this equates to about 1500 or 1600 watts. Now the rating on these things is somewhat like the top speed on a car. In the, it's an absolute maximum. So if it's 1500 watts and you put in more than that, then you will overload it. The circuit breaker down here will pop out and the thing will switch itself off. So it's quite important that you don't overload them. There are two plugs, which means that you can plug two things into them, but once again, make sure that the total that you're plugging in doesn't exceed the running wattage. We sell a few different ones of these, uh, but they range um, from quite a small one, which is 700 watts, right up to one which is 2,400 watts. Thanks.